regard. Um, so I need to break Daniel Foster down. You guys can use whatever method you prefer. The elbow flare is easy for me to get started. Once I get here, if his hand's on the mat, I'm good to go. I can angle out and I can enter into my position. But if his hand's on me, I need to hit the zombie. Where's Thomas? There he is. <laughs> So I just need to swim with my hand, right? I'm gonna keep control of Daniel's posture here. This hand is gonna go in front of his wrist and I'm gonna snake through. When I snake through, I really like to reinforce what I'm doing with my knee because if I mess that up, it's just too easy for him to swim back, right? And if I do this, I have some measure of control. I'm almost like grabbing my knee here a little bit, right? Once I get here, classic, um, you know, really old school way would be like going to London or a leg overhook type position, right? But I wanted to give you guys a different different take today. I want to go here, pull this forward, and then hug my knee like so, right? I can also start when I have his head under control with this if I'm flexible enough, but I don't want you guys to force anything with your knee, right? Listen to your knee. I'm also angled out to the side, so this is more pressure on my hip than my knee, and it's easy for me to do this because of my flexibility range. I'd like to make sure my wrist is here if I'm getting here first, right? And then when I swim, I've still got Daniel's head under control pretty good. I'm going to hug my knee, right? From here, I want to get inside control on this side, but it's difficult for me to do with the grip that I have. So I'm going to push off like so, and instead, I'm going to pass my foot in front of Daniel's head. But look, guys, I don't really want to do this and allow him a lot of opportunity, right? Instead, I'm just going to let go here, swim my hand to the other side, and then clear the head this way, right? So I'm doing that before I have any measure of inside control over here. Then I'm going to push off and frame here. And as soon as I frame, and here's why I've got this grip, right? As soon as I frame, I start to pivot toward his back, right? This is the time when if I have this grip, Daniel might be able to time this just right and then hop over and pass. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not really much I can do if my hand's stuck here, right? But if my hand is outside like this, I shoot off to the side, I swim, pass this here. Now if he starts to jump, I'm already here, I'm already ready, right? And just like any omoplata, when I do this, I'm going up and then over, right? If I try to just reach over, I might be too late. Up and then over. And once I get here, as always, I'm just looking to break his posture down, keeping my knees squeezed together. Point this way initially, bringing his shoulder to the mat, hugging his hip. I'm going to bring his hip to the mat next. Some people don't bring the hip to the mat at all. This works really well for me, right? Elbow glued to his hip, I scoot. Once I get here, Still paying attention to Daniel's elbow, making us with my legs. I can even reinforce here if I need to. Usually I don't, right? Because here's what's keeping his hand trapped, and then I'm coming forward nice and easy. Okay. So one more look at it really quick, guys. Okay. Just breaking Daniel's posture down here. If you're flexible enough, feel free to go here. But look, guys, not everybody's gonna be able to do that. So I recommend modifying it, hipping out to the side. If you still can't get here, don't worry <coughs> about it. Hold the head, swim hug your knee, and then grip. That's just fine, right? Do you make sure that your wrist deep here? You're not grabbing it just with your fingers, right? You want to be here. Now, I can't get the inside control, so I'm gonna push. As I push, I'm swimming to this side, clearing the head. Once I've cleared the head, Daniel's vulnerable to hop over. So if he goes to post that head on the mat, I gotta be here. And I wanna go up and over his back, right? Now from here, sitting up, but I'm squeezing my knees together cross my feet, point my hips this way. That will usually bring their shoulder to the mat pretty well. If that's something much bigger than me, this is highly, highly recommended, right? Once I get here, hugging tight, walking. That's with my legs, reinforce if you need to, careful. Okay. All right, guys, go ahead and grab a partner. Let's